Hello and welcome to Cần Thơ News of Cần Thơ Radio and Television Station. Here are today's headlines. The National Assembly agreed to extend the duration of e-visas from 30 days to 90 days, valid for multiple entries to meet the needs of international tourists. The Military Party Committee of Cần Thơ City held a conference on the implementation of tasks in the second half of 2023. Top news today, on the morning of June 24, the National Assembly unanimously approved the amendment and supplements a number of articles of the Law on Exit and Entry of Vietnamese Citizens and the Law on Entry, Exit, Transit and Residence of Foreigners in Vietnam. Accordingly, the e-visa's validity period has been extended from 30 days to 90 days and it is now valid for multiple entries. This makes it possible for foreigners who wish to do business in Vietnam to conduct market research, seek out funding and promotion. Along with that, the length of temporary stay for visitors entering the country under the visa exemption category has been extended from 15 days to 45 days at the border gate. Given that it is the regional norm, it is more convenient for visitors from other countries to visit and unwind in Vietnam on their own terms. The NA has given its approval to the proposal of adding place of birth to standard passports under the law on exit and entry. Additionally, immigration documents granted to citizens before this rule went into force are still valid for the terms specified in the entrance and departure paperwork. When this law goes into effect, the provisions of 2019 law on Vietnamese citizens' exit and entrance will still be used to address disputes if a citizen has applied for an entrance and exit document but has not yet been given one. This law takes effect starting from August 15, 2023. The Military Party Committee of Cần Thơ City on June 23rd held a conference on the implementation of tasks in the last six months of the year. Mr. Nguyễn Văn Hiếu, alternate member of the Party Central Committee, Secretary of the City Party Committee presided over the conference. The City Military Party Committee completed a number of tasks in the first half of 2023, including working with the military to maintain political security, social order and safety, strengthening political and ideological work, enforcing discipline, enhancing the standard of training, drills and practice to improve the state of combat readiness and ensuring good logistics, technical and timely service for tasks. Mr. Nguyễn Văn Hiếu requested party committees at stone levels to keep overseeing and carrying out the goals and tasks of the armed forces and national defense, monitor and comprehend the local situation, strictly maintain combat readiness, enhance the caliber, and guarantee the quantity of the reserve force. Vice Chairman of Cần Thơ City People Committee, Mr. Nguyễn Thực Hiện has just had a meeting and worked with the Institute of Health and Environment, led by Associate Professor Dr. Yuan Ngoc Hai, on the development of local technical regulations on the quality of clean water used for domestic purposes. A total of 105 domestic water supply facilities, including 92 rural water supply stations and 13 water plants, are present across the city, providing water to more than 1.2 million residents. The vice chairman of the city highly praised the development of local technical norms on the quality of clean water used for domestic purposes in the city and pledged to work with the Institute of Occupational Health and Environment to create a plan of local technical restriction on clean water used for household purposes in order to protect the well-being of the city's residents. On June 24, the Department of Internal Affairs of the city held the opening for the contest, assessing the capacity of information technology application and digital transformation in management and administration activities of leading and managerial cadres and civil servants in 2023. Mr. Chang Vik Jung, chairman of the City People Committee, attended and delivered the opening speech. There are 560 participants in the contest. The chairman emphasized that the contest aims to comprehensively and objectively assess the status and application of information technology in management and administration activity. 
as a basis for training and retraining level of the contingent of cadres, civil servants and public employees meeting the requirements of building e-government of the city. As a result, raise the awareness of the leadership and management team about the role and importance of applying information technology in leadership and management activities, playing a leading role for the team of experts in the field, contributing to speeding up the city's digital transformation process. The result of the contest are the basis for consideration and inclusion in the scoring of the PAR Index in 2023 of agencies and units. For individuals whose score is less than 50 points, rewards will not be considered and will not be graded for excellent completion of year-end task. On the morning of June 24, Gang Te City People Committee held a sport tournament to mark the 20th anniversary of the century-run Gang Te City and to celebrate the Trade Union Congress Conference, Course 4, Term 2023-2028. Attending were Mr. Zhang Vik Jung, Chairman of Gang Te City People Committee, and Mr. Nguyen Trung Nhung, Chairman of the Vietnam Far Land Front Committee in Gang Te City. 150 participants from eight different units, team captains, coaches and athletes, are taking part in a sporting event. Men's and women's double tennis, badminton and table tennis are the three sports in which they participate. The sport competition is a practical activity to advance the health training movement in line with the great Uncle Ho's example. A chance for trade union members, cadres and government employees to interact and share experiences. And finally, to enhance the cultural and spiritual life, inspire emulation and set high standards for completing agency and unit tasks, and contribute to the effective completion of political tasks. As part of the Vietnam-Japan Cultural and Trade Exchange Program in 2023, an event was recently held on June 17 to June 18 at Lưu Hu Phu Park, with many exciting cultural exchange activities, it attracted a large number of people and tourists to come and experience. Among many unique activities, the performance of the Aoya Collection would honor the cultural beauty of the two countries, Vietnam and Japan, was particularly impressive to the audience. The Vietnamese Japanese Colorful Aoya Collection by designer Huy Thi from Kansas City were inspired by the national flower flag colors of Japan. The main colors are red and white, representing good luck and the spirit of unity, strength, and international cooperation. The Vietnamese-Japanese Aoya collection in this event, with the meaning of Japan's national flower expressed on the Vietnamese Aoya, will further connect the spirit of cultural exchange, cooperation, and friendship between Japan and Vietnam. The collection includes 15 adult Aoyai and 30 modernized Aoyai for children. The materials used are Japanese silk and lacquer silk. The children's Aoyai is creatively inspired by the Japanese kimono custom, which cleverly combines waistbands, bows, and printed drawings of Japanese girls in cherry blossom land. I am very proud to wear the Vietnamese Aoyai with Japanese national flower patterns on the Aoyai, thus demonstrating the Vietnamese people's affection for Japan. The large group of Aoyai is designed with hand embroidered cherry blossom and chrysanthemum buttons, meticulously and dedicatedly drafted, combined with sudden style scraps bright colors and elegant bright crowds. The Aoyai collection was performed impressively by children and models. The colors are simple but subtle. You guys put on a great show to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam-Japan diplomatic relations. I am overjoyed. The Aoyai collection was meticulously prepared and trained by the designer and models to deliver a message of unity, strong bones, and promote the traditional and modern beauty of the Vietnamese Japanese cultures on the Vietnamese Aoyai for the audience.
coming up next is the weather forecast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.